Hello, you're welcome to Blessed Biafra Network. In this network, we'll talk about Biafra's problem, Biafra's solution, Biafra's referendum, Biafra's restoration. And also, we'll talk about how they have suffered so much trying to restore Biafra and how Nigerian government has continuously killing them for no reason even though when they are using peaceful agitation and the peace in peaceful manner they have also continued killing them for no reason and the British government are there watching without saying anything as if nothing is happening these are the things we are supposed to talk about every time It's necessary, please, gentlemen and ladies, and that is what we we'll talk in this particular channel. Today, let's go straight to the news of today, why we are here. The headline says, Nigeria, the madness and the deceit called Vision 2020. By the year 2020, Nigeria will be one of the 20 largest economy in the world with the capability of consolidating her leadership role in Africa as well as establishing herself as a significant player in the global economy come political arena. This was one of their many fraudulent statements. Nigeria politicians are pitiably the only Pitiably, the only set of administrative players in the world are glamour in making mockery, ambiguous, roguish, and the mischievous statement about themselves. When you listen to them talk, you will think that refined human species with actively functional brain are talking. They are gravely bereft of creative imaginations through collectiveness motivated motivated by selfishness and greed and always demonstrating interference and impatience the re is the re in habitual over indulgence in corrupt practices mismanagement of national wealth and irresistibly governed by this devilish attitude they erone erroneously conclude of making mountains out of donkeys professor shinto chebe of blessed memory was right when he wrote one of the commonest manifest manifestation of underdevelopment is a tendency among the ruling elite to live in the world of make believe and the unrealistic expectation unrealistic expectation this is the cargo court mentality that anthropologists sometimes speak about a belief by backward people that someday without any exaction exertion whatever was over on their own part a fairly ship that we dock in their harbor laden with every goodie they have always dreamt of possessing listening to the nigerian leaders and you will frequently hear the phrase this great country of us nigeria is never a great country in positive terms except being one of the most corrupt insensitive inefficient lawless and dangerous place to inhabit under the sun it is one of the most expensive vulgar the hardest extravagant dirty and least valued in developmental 
consideration among the countries on earth. Nigeria is ranked at the lowest ebb. It is a measure of our self delusion that we can yet talk about developing terrorism. Ter terrorism. Only a most Christ, a muscle Christ with an exuberant test for self violence will pick Nigeria for a holiday. Only a character of Tutuala seeking to know punish punishment and poverty at the first hand no Nigeria may be a paradise for adventure and pirates but certainly not for tourists Chunia Chebem concluded the Nigerian leadership as a whole has a weak and selfish thinking mentality hence those involved are only always conscious of themselves, families, tribes, and religious inclinations. They are monopic in their reasoning and activities, full of fear of competition and accountability, and yet, like making the loudest noise, constitute losers before the civilized nation of the world. By the year 2020, Nigeria, they said, will be one of the 20 largest economy of the world. But behold, the year 2020 has suddenly done on us here in Nigeria. There has been an abysmal abyss decline in all facets of decency in the country revived by a deadly terrorist attack orchestrated by Boko Haram Fulani killer Hemmen with additional ranking of the world headquarters of poverty and most underdeveloped in black Africa. Despite the self-glorifying reassurance of being one of the 20 largest economies globally in 2020, the country is yet running from pillar to post in education sector school people in most locations still study under three and dilapidated classrooms there is alarming certificate forgery ranging from the president to others there exists sales for marks increase in universities absence of vibrant educational program and yet professors and doctorate degree holders are produced in their number with any that any appreciable record research work by the year 2020 nigeria will be one of the 20 largest economy globally with no clean water for the citizens to drink children especially in the north drink from the same bowl with cow Millions here take waters mixed with toxic chemicals in the south from oil exploitation area. Epileptic electricity, power supply, the lipidated rules, relentless, provocative killing of Christians, hospitals are in comatose, comatose with necessary drug and other major consumable in gross scarcity yes the motted vision 2020 in nigeria could be true in some sense because the country is presently the most indebtable in the in the indebted in the world she also ranks as the third most corrupt globally she presently in Islamic country with object poverty starting the citizen in the face and the fat majority of the people go to bed daily with empty stomach. It is really unfortunate how the feeling of the investors of the state sponsors come will be now the eyes of the world are undoubtedly feast on Nigeria and her leadership. The so-called Nigerian leaders before the global audience have rarely 
rub rubbish their integrity if they had any what about the consolidation on african leadership role with the false hope of getting established as a significant player in the global economic and political arena the time of the definitive achievement has for long elude led the country and my expectation of regaining position even now that the Fulani oligarchy is in control of Nigeria simply translate the white ghost chase. It is all over to her with vision 2020. This particular script was written by Obuloso Obulose Chidebere N edited by Peter Shawo for Family Writers Press International. So thank you so much friends for listening and I say may God bless you all and please drop your comment in the comment section and all your questions will be answered. Thank you so much and have a nice day.